G'day, just demonstrating how to use the screen receiver software for Casio calculators. This should allow you to display the calculator on a TV, for example. So first of all, download the screen receiver software from this address. Um, don't click on the underlined here, you have to actually click this tick like this. Then you can download for Windows or Mac. Um, install the file uh, and the reason we're doing this is many people buying from cum-here.co.nz need to display their calculators um, on a TV teachers typically so let's get into it um, so let's say you've downloaded that software uh, and installed it now you can just run it so this is the free screen receiver software from Casio now what I'm going to do um, it does come with a USB lead so let's have a look at that here's the end of the USB lead, I've got the other end plugged into the computer so all you need to do even if the calculator is off um, calculator is off I'm just going to plug it in and the calculator will turn on and you don't need to do anything actually, that's all you need to do we'll just flick back to the screen receiver software and you can see that we have uh, the, the display there. Um, so actually, it's asking you actually to press uh, F3 there. So you do need to do something. I'll press F3, and now um, it's asking to press exit. And there we have the cursor blinking. So let's just um, bring that up side by side. And as I press a key, you should see it happen um, at the same time. So I'll just press, um, let's press this key here, and we can see it happening on the screen. Um, you can do various things from here as well. It's already at maximum zoom. I don't think you can zoom in more than that, unfortunately. It is quite a low resolution screen. Uh, but one thing you can do is, is capture the screen. And then um, and we'll just change the screen a bit. And then, um, so I'm just right clicking there, and then you can just capture the screen again so you can save those. And then from there, you can print them, etc., as well. So print or save your screen. Um, yeah, it's pretty small. Um, also, I'd say you can save it. Um, so I've changed the default to PNG, I would probably say that's a better more portable format um, than the default BMP uh, the Mac will be different this is the Windows version right so thanks for watching there um, and if you do have any questions you can visit uh, the website here and on the contacts page um, well first of all we've got the three different three different colors um, of these calculators the FX 9750 G3 is the same as the FX 9860 G3, but uh, is a lot of cost. Um, so if you were making a purchase, then that would probably be the one to go for the 9750 G3 um, as the latest version. So that that is that is NCA approved, and it does everything that. The 9860 G3 does. The 9750 G3 um, does a few extra things, but they're not really too important. I think if you want to read exactly what those differences are, you can um, go to the page on the web website here, and it explains that the three differences are that there's a mix math option for slight difference in how. Um, the display can be configured as an extra option for the 9750 G3. Um, there is a, a examination mode specifically for Texas, so not relevant, not used in New Zealand. Um, and you can can turn implied modification on or off with the 9750 G3. So those are the three differences that the 9750 G3 uh, has, according to this version of the Casio manual. Um, 
because this this Casio manual that covers both models. So thanks for watching.